Ladies and gentlemen, Minecraft 1.13 inches ever closer forward as we have Snapshot 22A. And this is a bug fixing snapshot with a hint that the pre-release is getting even closer now. But anyway, they fixed a really old bug. I'll be showing you exactly what this one is. Uh, a lot of stuff is related to updating your world from previous version of Minecraft, that being 1.12.2. And there are some rather critical big deal bugs again that have been fixed. So all of this stuff is really promising. Let's go jump into a world and check some of them out. Let's start off with that old bug. It's actually bug 1809. To give you some comparison, uh, modern bugs are up in I think 120,000. So this is a very old one. And uh, it's quite a, quite a simple one to understand as well. When trees naturally generate, it is possible for them to generate with leaves too far away from the log blocks, which means that then they are going to start decaying. So that means when the world is creating hundreds and hundreds of trees, like these forests that we've got over here, uh, they are also creating leaf blocks that will immediately start to decay and possibly pop off things like apples and saplings onto the ground. So now when trees grow, they will have the right amount of leaves and they're not going to start despawning. So this next bug is a rather amusing one and it gives me an opportunity to teach you how the game works when it comes to mob spawning. So what we're going to do is teleport up to Y200 and around the player imagine an invisible sphere of 128 blocks. Mobs outside of that radius will automatically despawn unless they are renamed or something like that. So the top of the ocean is at Y64 and then at 128 is 192. Everything down there should be despawning, except dolphins don't. So when we fall back down, there is an extremely large amount of dolphins now in the world. And you can see that they are turning into a little bit of a slideshow as the game struggles to cope with all these entities. So now in the next update, well, 22A, which I'm currently not in, obviously, this is fixed and dolphins will actually despawn outside of that range. And this is kind of crazy. Wow. Slow motion dolphins. So we are still in the previous snapshot, 18W21B, and I have teleported us to a jungle biome in the hopes of finding a parrot or an ocelot. Now, we're not actually going to find one because of a bug stopping them from spawning. That's a kind of a big deal, right? Not having those in 1.13. Well, if you watched my Hardcore Hermit series, you would have seen that we spent a couple of episodes patrolling a jungle looking for either a parrot or an ocelot, and we couldn't find either of them. Well, it turns out that it wasn't just bad luck. There was actually a bug stopping them from spawning. So in the latest snapshot, they will be spawning again. Now, there is some serious quirkiness with rails in these snapshots. Again, we're still in 21B. And uh, all I have to do really is place down a rail and you will see the problem. Those should not change their connections. And it seems to be limited to certain tiles within a world um, that can do this. Other ones, for example, won't. I think if we put one there, yeah, it doesn't change these. But there are spots where it is changing them. That's not one of them. Um, let's try over here. Nope, they're good. Eventually you'll find them and things get a little bit funky and they start changing connections like that. Should definitely have not changed that. Well, it turns out that uh, upgrading from 21B to 22A has corrupted the world or destroyed it or something. Can't get into it. Um, this is a pretty good test. We're looking at a lot of positions right here and none of them are incorrectly changing, right? When I put down these rails, they don't all of a sudden break and connect with the new rail. That one was a pretty big deal, and I know there are a few other ones related to rails as well that need fixing. Um, here is something that really isn't a big deal. Right-clicking on a villager with a spawn egg doesn't open up its trading menu, which it was doing. So if you're playing in creative mode, what it's supposed to do is spawn a baby, which it now does again. There is also this issue where iron horse armor would display some green pixels on it. That's really quite strange. Uh, another small thing that's been fixed there. At some point in the development of these snapshots, the confirmation message for changing your uh, game mode started to disappear, especially when you do F3 and N like that. Um, that has been successfully restored. Here's an interesting one. I'm going to place down a chest full of some items right here. Then I'm going to run this command, set block, and we're going to set it to destroy. Mojang have deemed it a bug that it would have removed the inventory. So now when you run a destroy command on a container, uh, the items will survive, as you can see here. If we go ahead and place some glass into the water, you'll see that the watercolor doesn't match the tint of the biome. 
Uh, simple little bug, I guess they added in the tint and they didn't consider all of the things. So let's jump into the latest snapshot and see what this would look like. Looks like I've discovered some quirkiness. Um, you can see the water there actually disappearing. I think that's all of the two tall grass and grass uh, disappearing. So updating from 16A doesn't seem to have gone very well and it kind of looks like the tinting thing here hasn't actually been implemented. Although over on this side you can see that the colour of the water is a lot bluer than on this side here. Well this is clearly a lot darker than if we were to go to an ocean like this one over here. You can see we've got some of the lighter tinted water and there it is a lot brighter. But it still doesn't look quite seamless. It looks a little bit odd in fact and if we look at it um, the left side there looks slightly brighter, doesn't it? And that seems to be the same on the opposite. So if you're facing north or south, it seems to be a little bit brighter. I've got a feeling that that's not really fixed yet. I don't know. Something else has got to be done here, I reckon. And those were all of the bug fixes I thought were worth mentioning, or at least that I understood. And that brings us to the end of this one. So no new features, just bug fixes. But I'll continue to follow these snapshots. So uh, be sure to subscribe to the channel if you want to keep up to date. And if you enjoyed the video, leave a like. I'll also mention that I'll be streaming City Skylines later today over on Twitch. Look in the description box for the link to Twitch if you like the sound of that and you want to check out the stream. But anyway, uh, that's going to be it for me. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you later. Bye-bye.